Hey people, this is Mike June the second, and we're gonna be starting a very next Let's Play. Now let's get past the warning health screen, because we're not worried, because we're tough like that. The Pokemon Company. Giga, the one with this game is. Genius Seniority. Now everybody, I hope we're happy to say we're gonna be starting Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. It's gonna be our very next Let's Play, and I am going to fucking enjoy this game. Immensely. I think this game is better than Coliseum in some uh, some cases, but in other cases it might be less than because Pokemon Coliseum definitely had the cinema in it. It had it had the, the, the look of the game, you know, it really had it with it. But this game actually has a little bit better gameplay wise in my opinion. So yes. Here's versus mode. All it really is is a quick battle and group battle. Group battle being um you battling with your friends and um Quick battle being, uh, battle versus CPU, which if we started right this, we could just start off with our, a different team. You don't get these Pokemon in the game, but, you know, Bulbasaur, Dratini, blah, blah, just a quick battle, or Ultimate, probably giving you Legendary. See Mewtwo, Zapdos, actually, it's kind of cool they give you Legendaries, if you ask me. God, there's a Mewtwo in there. We should still play this just to play with the Mewtwo. But no, we're obviously not going to do that, and whatnot, so that's versus mode for you. I don't think there's a mountain battle type mode, too, though I will say, there is something like it. And it should be said, though, that in the last game, when you went through the Mount Battle thing, you got yourselves a Ho-Oh. In this game, you get one of the starters from the second generation, meaning you get either Chikorita, a Cyndaquil, or a Totodile, and they all have a Hyper Beam Elemental move toward their type, like um, Blast Burn and, and Frenzy Plant, etc., etc. So yes, actually, I recorded, the, I recorded about 40 minutes of this game, and the sound didn't work. Actually, I'm going to check this right now. Okay, cool. I, uh, I just make sure I, I, I put sound on my computer that it actually plays it from the Dazzle, and I checked it. But for some reason, the sound didn't record, so I had to redo the whole thing all over again right now, as you see, so... Yes. And a few funny things happen, so... And I haven't played the game in a while, so... At that point, but right now, I've already played the game, so... So it's not gonna be like, uh, the last video I just made, because it's kind of me in a newer type of thing. But anyway, that's besides the point. Let's start a new game, and here is our main character. His default name is Michael. Yes, that is actually really funny if you ask me. Actually, all three of the names are um, are based off the Bible. Uh, Michael the Archangel, David the King, and Adam and Eve, if you remember. So yes, obviously, I mean, it's just so funny considering the guy's name is uh, Michael. Um, because, like I said, this the, the Ore region is based off Phoenix, Arizona, and this game still does take place in the Ore region. But it's, it's based off Phoenix, Arizona, which I do live in Arizona. Not in Phoenix, but still. And, the, and, and this ki kid's name's Michael, so that's just really funny. <laughs> so, yes. Very cool. Obviously, I'm going to lowercase the name with it. So, yes. Actually, I have my own reason. I actually... I think... I have a theory to why they actually called the main character Michael in this game, which we're gonna see in a second. Is Michael okay? Yeah, Michael's okay. Michael is awesome! once I can say my name about a character and I don't have to be and it doesn't have to be like oh I just put that in there myself hey look a ship god are these like the t only two people on the boat what the what the heck what the what is that that's Lugia but that doesn't look like Lugia. Apparently those guys were the only ones on the ship. What the hell happened? I think those two are going to be drowning out at sea. What in the hell? Not gonna lie, I kinda like this music, but what the hell are we doing? Do we seriously start off the game with a Salamence at level 50? It's kinda weird, but whatever. Anyway, this is the Salamence versus Metagross. Both pseudo legendaries. Huh. Anyway, here's a bunch of moves you can use. Um, don't use Dragon Claw, Dragon Dance, or Brick Break. Just do Earthquake. Just do Earthquake in this fight. If you wanna win, at least. You can lose this fight, but try not to.
So yeah, it's kind of weird. Just kind of starting to knock, starting us off this battle. More than likely, you're gonna lose this battle within two turns. Uh, when I played this before, I lost because one, I thought that Brick Break would do decent damage against Metagross, but it didn't. And um, Earthquake was. Uh, I did Earthquake last, but I got poisoned with Sludge Bomb, so be careful. Anyway, another Earthquake, and we should take him out. Metagross is down. Hey, my phone went off. Player defeated Sim Trainer Lawston. Oh no! Wait, what the? What just happened? What the? This guy says something completely different if you lost that fight, by the way. But not anything really important happened, so... Huh. So we own an Eevee? Wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah, instead of giving you two... giving you an Umbreon and an Espeon, they give you an Eevee, which is pretty cool. Here's a little Eevee, level 10, so it's five levels above if you actually started the game. Unlike the last game where it starts you off at, like, level... what was it? Like, 20, 25? This game starts you off at level 10, so... Really... This game actually does a lot better at showing the ideal of you starting a new adventure. And it's a lot more Pokemon-esque like. So, I think that should be said. And I think this is why the guy's actually called Michael. Um, you guys as a kid probably remember if anything was the same name as yours, like on TV or something, a character or a bad guy or something. Well, in the Pokemon anime, I remember one of the episodes where one of the kids was named Mikey, and it was the Eevee episode, where this little kid had an Eevee, and his brothers wanted him to evolve it into what they what they like, which was Jolteon, Espeon, and Flareon. And uh, the kid's name was Mikey, and he wanted to keep his Eevee just as an Eevee. So and I, think that's actually, I think that's actually a reference towards the anime. I could be wrong, truly, but I really do think this is a reference. I mean, it's not like this is the actual kid himself, but... It's a reference. I think it's a reference, okay? That's my theory. You know, do what you want. You say what you want. And what do you have to say? Okay, so we're in a Sims. Alright then. Obviously, Sim, short for simulation. Pretty much telling you, you go in here to do battles. And, um... Yeah, pretty much you go in here to do battles. You find CDs in the game, if I'm correct, and you get special items if you beat them. I'm not gonna do the CDs, because I just never- I never did in my first playthrough, so... What you gonna do? Eh, not really. Our father? Huh. Her father must be away or something, I don't know. Eh, who knows, maybe they finally got a gym working in the R region and he's working there, kind of like in Ruby and Sapphire. What do you have to say? Yeah, you can read the board if you're new to Pokemon. This game is a lot more friendlier if you're new to Pokemon than the last game. Last game was like, you know what, you've probably watched Pokemon, so, uh, or know about Pokemon, so, you know what, go for it. So, it's kind of funny that this game is actually a sequel. Actually... There has, this game is the second, like, pretty much you could say, sequel right after the last game since Pokemon Generation between Generations 1 and 2 with, um, Red, Blue, and Yellow, and, uh, for the next game being the, the sequels coming right after it, which is, um, uh, I'm trying to think, Gold, Silver, and, uh, Crystal, so yes. You know what's going here? Hey, an event! Huh. I'm a, that must mean we're pretty badass, huh? Don't you patronize me. Oh, so this woman Lily must be our mother then. She's saying my son and daughter. Wait a second, if she has a daughter, that means I have a sister. Damn it. Don't want another sister. Eh, 
Nah, I guess I'll go find her. Yep, yeah, Pokemon Digital Assistant, just like the last game. Pretty much. Sorry if I'm a little bit quiet, just kind of, uh, down. Then I did lose my last recording, which I'm kind of pissed about, but what can you do? Anyway, I'm gonna check the sound again. Okay, it looks like it's working. All right. I'm just pissed about that, really. Anyway then, so yeah, this area is a lot different than the last game. We're actually starting in a more friendlier environment. Then before, we're a little kid. Well, not really a little kid. Michael's probably like 10, 12 years old or something like that. Um, what the hell are you doing under here for? Who knows, maybe she's playing in my room. Which I will have to beat her up for it. No one plays in my room. Then I'll make her do my homework. Mwahaha. Yes, I'm an evil little brother. Look at the shiny thing on the desk. What's over here? Yay, potions! So yes, this is our room and PDA time. Tame the PDA. Hey, an email. Yeah, in this game, we actually get little things that show up on the top left corner of the screen when something special happens. It's actually pretty cool. I like the idea. If you're reading this email, then you must have obtained the PDA. Try its many features. By the way, Adon was playing hide and seek with Jovi. Why not have a chat with him? Huh. Actually, funny enough, when that thing popped up, my phone rang. Not like like five seconds after. It was kind of funny and convenient. So this is our room. Um, I have to say, a weird setup for a room, really. Meaning, like that basketball hoop up there. I mean, what happens if I miss or if I actually make the shot? I'll like destroy my computer right here. Don't want to do that. Got little planes that are kind of cool though. Here's our bed. You can sleep to help your uh, heal your Pokemon. And under here, you'll find my porn map. I mean, Pokemon Weekly. Yeah. Anyway, and here is our sister's room, and for some reason she has two beds. She has a Minum, obviously she, with the blue and red bed, she does have a Minum too. Doesn't really play any important to the plot though, however, I, will, I shall say. Yeah, it looks like our little sister's just been kind of missing for a bit. I was actually around this place searching for a bed, so I might actually lose time with this now that I've played through this again. Anyway, Idon's this guy. He's playing hide and seek. Hey, that, what are you doing down there? What the? A Collecleon? Huh. I know this guy is a Collecleon, but I didn't know it was hiding. Fuck. If you don't know, Collecleon is obviously trying to mimic a poke, not a Pokemon, an animal that uses, uh, what's it called? Whatever the fuck. Camouflage is what I'm looking for. Dr. Kamenikos. A weird house? Huh. Heh. <laughs> You're a little bit old to be playing hide and seek with a little kid. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's weird. I didn't know they did this. Kind of like in the last game, same music and everything, you got like the news that kind of tells you about the game. And if you haven't played the game in a while, you can start the game again and, and uh, press the TV screen to see, see where you might have left off. Yeah, the ship was, um, a lot of Pokemon were on board. Huh. So obviously that was the ship we saw in the beginning cutscene. Maybe. Actually, funny enough, uh, you will automatically have the TV happen if you walk into this room before you talk to this guy, obviously. I didn't know that though, uh, because when I usually play, I usually go in every area, but I was kind of skipping a bit of them. So yeah, now it's time for us to go to Kamenico's place, though I think we're going to search around the lab a bit. Because I did it in the last video, why not? When I made the video at first, so why not? No opening for the side. Okay, time for us to go outside then. And uh, what do you have to say?
pretty much. That's what you really want to do when you're playing Pokemon. Make sure you got everything. Kick some ass. No, thank you. If I'm right, this guy actually kicks a lot of ass, so be fucking careful. I don't want to battle him and lose and... Are you sleeping? You were sleeping, weren't you? I demand you give me a bunch of treats or I shall tell my mother and get your ass fired. Eh, sucks to be you. What do you have to say? Machine, huh? Storage case, huh? So yeah, this place is pretty crazy. And in here we have more sign. Hey, Blissy! Blissy! Ball form of Chansey, obviously. And as you can see, the healing machine and the PC looks different. Actually, I'm gonna see if I can save. <gasps> Wait a second, where's my save function at? <gasps> Actually, unlike the last game, this game lets you save wherever the fuck you want. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. This game is a major improvement in gameplay over the last game. Obviously, the ideal of it being cool and the cinematics aren't as great as the last game, but I think that this game does show a lot better in terms of gameplay-wise. Anyway, now that we searched the lab a little bit, we're gonna go find our sister, Jovi. Kind of a weird name for a girl, though, Jovi. Maybe it's just because I'm thinking of the artist Bon Jovi. I don't really listen to him, by the way. I just kind of know him. And here is our awesome and fantastic scooter. Yes, Michael rides a scooter. Don't judge. Not as cool as a motorcycle, but what you gonna do? He's a little kid. I bet when he gets like 17, he gonna get himself a fucking motorcycle. I would. Even though I probably wouldn't ride one in real life. <laughs> this place is kind of freaky though, seriously. Though it's kind of funny how up close the Groudon statue looks like huge, but <laughs> right, right here it's like, yeah, not that big of a deal. This place is kind of cool though. Sorry if it does look kind of dark, however, because, um... I don't mean it to. Huh. Well then, time for us to go inside. Who the hell are you, little kid? Here's a different battle music than the original game, if I'm correct. Actually, no, this wasn't the last game, wasn't it? I think it was. They do change some tracks in the game, but not, like, completely. So, yeah. Anyway, tackle! We're facing a Sun Current at level 5, and Sun Currents are really freaking weak, so... If you don't win this, I should be allowed to slap you. Or the enemy should have somehow got, like, crazy critical hits on your ass. No, Eevee, how dare you! Now must be punished with death. Not gonna lie, Eevee's pretty sweet. Hey, almost leveling up. Kamenico. Or at least Kamenico's aid. See, that's what you get, Midget. That's what you get. Hey, $150! Woohoo! 20 more and I'm getting myself a 3DS. Oh wait, I already have one. I'm not a burglar, you idiot. Well, I don't know. Some kids are burglars. Do you... God, I hate trainers. Pokemon World. Huh, cheerful music. Hey, it's our sister, Jovi. Looking for you. No, I didn't get lost. You did. Well, you ran away or something. Ugh. Here's a little sister, Jovi. Two things. She talks in third person. Another thing. She is conceited. Little kid conceited, but still conceited nonetheless.
Okay, I guess I'll look at him. Whatever makes you feel better, midget. So I wonder what kind of cool invention this guy has. It's kind of weird though, you'd think this guy would probably work at the other Pokemon lab, but... From the sound of it, these guys work more on adventure, and the other guys work on stuff more Pokemon-based. He must be the guy with the uh, long hair, I'm guessing. The VCR? Okay, a VCR really isn't that powerful. I know the time this game came out, DVDs were prominent. Worsening of your health? That's not a good invention! Huh. Yeah, you can look at this look at his inventions. Uh, hopefully nothing pornographic shows up, especially if we considered old professors lately. Then again, that guy seems really old and this guy's really short. I think me and Jovi can overpower him. I wonder what else like, kind of inventions he has. The power draining light bulb. Um, electric bills will grow shockingly. That's not a great invention. Kind of joke about these guys. They do stuff that are that are like bad inventions. They don't work for you at all. So kind of funny, really. I mean, that's kind of like their gag. Uh, hey, mine them. Mimi. What do you have to say, old man? Oh, you do, huh? Okay, we'll tell him that when we get back there, I guess. Hello, elder man. How are you? Well, you seem kind of not happy for us. Come on, Jovi. Let's get going. Mimi! See, jumping right in the Pokemon again. And Jovi joined the party. I will tell you right now, Jovi is not a permanent member of the party. And she never will be. Um, so yeah. I'm telling you that because you might want to know. Hey, I got an email. You do? Huh. Well. So yeah. God, you're so conceited. We're just about to go home anyway. Anyway, I'm gonna... Got a text message, so... Gonna answer that. But yeah, Jovi is not a permanent member of the party. She does join us a few times in the game, but she's not permanent ever. So, keep that in mind. So yeah. Um... Not really much else to talk about. Sorry, I'm just kind of getting caught up in texting. Though I'm really saving time since the last video, because I got stuck as hell. Um, I'm gonna reply to. I hate it when you're texting somebody and they don't give you anything to work with. <laughs> well, what can you do? I'll try answering it later, so. Anyway, time for us to leave and go back home. To our better-than-you lab. And Jovi's hanging on to us on our scooter.